It's the time of year where we head east for muskies. What's going on everybody? My name is Brian. You're watching Angling Anarchy. Hi Lisa. I was just out east not too long ago at the Pennsylvania Musky Max Show, one of my favorite musky expos to go to every year. If you are a musky fisherman and you're out in that area and you are not going to this thing, you're missing out because there are just a ton of awesome vendors, great booths, get your hands on some baits, maybe pick up a chaos rod. That sort of stuff can be had there. So, And uh, Mr. Sean Leopardi does just an amazing job of, of putting that expo on. So that's what I've been up to recently. And I thought, hey, while we're out there, we should stop somewhere along the way. Turns out we stopped in Ohio and fished with my buddy Jabez and Colton. We fished a couple of shore spots on our way out there because the weather was going to be crummy. We didn't think we'd have a lot of time. So we thought, all right, let's just hit a couple shore spots. We did really well out there a couple years ago. I got a really nice one. Fish! Fish, fish, fish! That's a dandy, boys. That's a dandy. Where I can make more. Yeah. Oh yeah! Look at that fish. <laughs> that is a beaut. Gotta be like a low mid 40s, maybe like a 43, 44. She's thick too. On a mid Dusa. Yeah, look at how thick that fish is. So we were hoping for a little bit more of the same. Unfortunately, the musky gods had different ideas. We were able to fish until about noon before the rain chased us off, uh, but it was fun. We, we fished two or three different spots, got to check out some new waters. The water was a little bit low, so you know it was a little bit tougher to fish some of these places, but we gave it a shot anyway. It just felt nice to knock the dust off the rods and reels, throw some baits. So after the, the quick stop on Friday in Ohio, we went the rest of the way again to the Pennsylvania Muskie Max. Just an amazing time. Lots of fun in the Chaos Tackle booth. But what I was really looking forward to is on the way home, stopping back in Ohio and getting to fish, get in a boat, get to throw some lures, and hopefully put a muskie in the boat. The weather was supposed to be really nice. It was going to get up to 50, mid 50s, I think. My buddy Jabez, we were in his boat. He's got Lorance Active Target in the boat. No, there's all sorts of controversy over this stuff. We weren't just driving around trying to find a fish and then throwing casts at it. We were working our way down the lake, and if we were to see a fish, we would throw at it. But it was just nice to use it to see the bait that was out there. You'd see the occasional fish. For me, it just gave me the confidence to just keep blindly casting. So that's what we did. We had water temps that were a little cool. We've got fish that are obviously pre-spawn, but hopefully they're out there looking to eat. So we put on some medusas and some glide baits and went about our way trying to catch ourselves a muskie. Jabez is up front. I think he was throwing a umbrella rig or an A-rig a type of bait. Nate was throwing a glider and I was in the back of the boat tossing a mid medusa, just popping it along hoping for a hit. Fish. Yep. Just popped off. Man. Yeah. Shoot. Oh man. You ended up with a couple of scales from God, it felt good head shakes too, man. Yeah. Man. 
Jeez, I, I was thinking my drag was, the way he was pulling it out, I thought it was loose. It is not loose. Yeah. <laughs> that sucks. Okay, no, that's, uh, that's all right. Just gotta keep, uh, gotta keep that positive musky attitude, the PMA rolling. I mean, it, it stinks losing a fish like that, but you just have to tell yourself to keep casting. It was early in the day. We've got we've got plenty more time to get this done, so you just you just got to keep going. Fish. Oh god dang it. Okay. Are you me? Went off to take a look. I didn't well, see, when I got that time when it was coming in, the hooks were wrapped like, around each other. I wonder if, why I didn't get a good hook on that one. Okay, all right. Nope, nope, it's all right. Still, still early in the day. I mean, two blown chances, but uh, no, it, it'll be all right. It'll be all right. I mean, that's musky fishing, right? I mean, you get these chances. Hopefully, if they're biting like that, they'll keep going, you know, for the rest of the day. Once again, uh, PMA, positive musky attitude. Keep it, uh, keep things rolling, and uh, keep throwing the same bait that that got you a couple hits. And you know, who knows? Maybe, maybe Nate will get a stab at something. Did you have them? Well, way to mess that one up. Was it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep, she freaking hit it as it was dropping. On the drop, yeah. I just, I just can't, can't keep one hooked. Unreal, unreal. I mean, I just. <laughs> Why do we do this to ourselves? Why? I just, I, I want to put all my stuff in the boat, pull the plug, drive it to the center of the lake, and just swim back to shore sometimes because it absolutely drives me nuts. But, you know, that's all right. We've got, we've still got time. Then we've got a couple more hours before we have to make the long drive back to Janesville. Hopefully we don't, uh, we don't come away from this empty-handed. Is that all she wrote, as they say? Not for me. Catch one right here, last cast magic. Last cast magic, Nathan. Well, famous last words, I suppose. So that was my first musky excursion of the year. Um, sorry to put you through that, but uh, you know what? You can't go out every time and catch them. Um, obviously, if you've musky fished for any amount of time, you know that. But uh, I don't know. I just wanted to share that little story with you guys and uh, hopefully the little bit of schadenfreude that <laughs> you get from watching someone else's pain uh, was worth it to, to watch this video. So I'm really hoping that the next musky fishing video uh, I put out actually has some muskies in it and uh, so that, that's, that's the main goal but it's musky fishing guys. You can't, you can't win every time obviously. Uh, just to get out, throw a few casts, get a couple bites, felt good there's so much coming up there's iowa in may there's northern wisconsin there's canada maybe st Clair, maybe canada again there's there's all sorts of good stuff coming up folks so stick with us i promise you we'll have some fish in the boat if you've made it this far i really appreciate it because that was probably painful to watch but i appreciate every single one of you that watched this and i'll see you on the next video